to Vlogtober part 12. Today is going to be really, a really fun vlog hopefully because Charlie and I are heading to Freeport Braintree in Essex which is a discount um, shopping centre and I have not been shopping, this sounds ridiculous, really cool, but proper shopping in so long so I'm really really excited. I'm just waiting for Charlie to come down now, he's gone to M&S to get some breakfast. It's only 10 o'clock in the morning but I've already picked up um, a sweet and chilli chicken because you know when you've got a craving and you just have to have it. So yeah, we're in Liverpool Street at the moment. It takes about an hour to um, to get to the station. I've just got a choice so I'm going to go and get him. just stepped off the train and it's quite literally um, just opposite the platform because it's really easy to get into. The train was about an hour from London but our train driver was like oh sorry I accidentally took the, um, the slow track so we were a little bit delayed but if you can see around me it's really cute it's kind of like little, little villages and this entrance looks a little bit like Disneyland so we're heading inside now. getting an espresso then definitely come and check it out here at first because I mean this is 162 pounds retail price and it's 113 here so it's 50 pounds off it's so good oh Charlie look oh wow we're gonna get them aren't we these are amazing yeah let's get one two for 35 yeah. normally 25 pounds each I'd like to get two different colors though I'd no like... I think two of these I really like this color though can't we get one of that looks awesome that does look awesome Success in Ted Baker. What did you get, darling? Coat and a blazer, sorted. He's underrating it. Basically, Charlie yeah. has been looking for this coat for what, like two years? No, no. I, look, I had my favourite coat last year and then I left it in a pub. He left it in a pub and he's just found the exact same coat that he left in a pub and. For like half the price, pretty much. Yeah, literally half the price. Get and we it. were just saying that we've been to other design outlet places and they just have all the rubbish left. But in that Ted Baker store, they had like everything that is nice currently Nice well. Yeah, you got a really nice blazer 100, as well. 100 quid cheaper than normal. Yeah, so you got some really good pieces.
just come out of Hollister and um, Charlie was trying on some jumpers and we must have had a group of like five ladies all standing around us. They said it was because they thought their sons were similar size, but I think it's secretly because Charlie was getting his abs out in Hollister. Now the train journey home is really quick, it's about an hour from London Liverpool Street and then for us it's like 15 minutes on the tube so it really didn't take us too long to get home. Um, Charlie's now downstairs watching the rugby, it's the Australia versus New Zealand final tonight so I'm just going to leave him to do that and show you guys what we bought because I feel like we got some really really good pieces. As I said I hadn't been shopping in quite a long time and to be honest didn't really buy much kind of clothing for me, although there were loads of stores for girls clothing. But um, yeah, mostly like home and a few really good pieces for Charlie. So let me show you what is in all these bags that I've got behind me. So firstly from Radley, everything in the shop was so discounted and loads of like new season things. I didn't buy any handbags just because I wasn't feeling hugely spendy, but I did pick up, um, this is a bag in a bag in a really cute light blue print. And this was £8 down from £11, which is really great. I thought this was really handy for now because obviously we're getting charged for carrier bags, so really useful to have a bag in a bag. Kind of wish I'd picked up a few more of those because I think they'll be really nice stocking fillers. And then I also got this really tiny handbag umbrella. It doesn't have the price on it, but I remember um, I have a feeling it was £11 down from about £28. So again, really, really good price. And... I mean, I don't even know why you discount an umbrella, it's just such a handy thing to have with you. Then the body shop, and they had some really good offers in there. It was basically, if you buy two things, you get 30% off. If you buy three things, it's 35% um, off, and four things, it's 40% off. So we bought four things. So firstly, I picked up the Chamomile Silky Cleansing Oil. This is a blogger favourite, yet I haven't actually tried it before. So I thought it was a really good opportunity to pick one of these up and give it a go. And then also the Vitamin E Face Mist, and I really, really like using a face mist in the autumn because it just is nice and refreshing on my skin, especially if the skin gets a little bit dry. So I got one of those. Um, Charlie chose this, which is a face scrub, and then just to make it up to four things, I grabbed this headband, which is really useful for when you're cleansing your skin in the evening. So they were the bits I got from the Body Shop outlet. I really like how Le Creuset packaged their things. We've got this kind of um, canvas tote bag, and then inside the salt and pepper things, which you saw us um, kind of arguing over the colours, is in this really cute box. So I think if you're going to get them for a gift, then that's a really, really nice way of presenting it. So I personally thought that we should have got two in the same colour, but Charlie was determined to get one in um, one in each colour. So we got an orange, um, kind of like ombre shaded salt shaker, which is really nice, and then a black pepper mill. It's got like a P and an S on the top. And by far the most practical purchase of our whole trip, we got a can opener. This was $11.99 down from $7.99. Me and Charlie just tend to break can openers, so we thought we'd get a decent quality one. Next was Hollister, and Charlie got this really lovely grey jumper. It was, I think it was $16.99, yeah, and then I believe that there was an additional 30% off. So it's a really nice kind of classic grey jumper for Charlie. And then I got this lovely, again, really classic navy gilet. I'll show you in the mirror in a second. Um, it's got little pockets and a super soft fur lining, which I absolutely love. So this was, it says on the price tag $26.99, but after the sale, I think it was like £18. So absolute bargain. Let's give it a try for you. Look at the bomb site behind me. I just think gilets are really, really practical for autumn because sometimes you just don't want a full coat. And yeah, I think this one is really, really lovely. I mean, 18 pounds for a Hollister gilet. Absolutely crazy. It's so snuggly and warm. Then we move on to Ted Baker and we definitely had the biggest session in Ted Baker. Charlie did particularly well, as I think you heard with his coat and blazer situation. I got a couple of bits as well, which I shall show you. So I got this gorgeous pair of grey leather and fur gloves and they've got a beautiful like rose gold zip detail in there as well, which I think is just so pretty. I thought originally that the zip um, zipped off the fur, but it doesn't do that, I did have a check. And this leather is so soft, they just feel like such incredible quality. So the RRP on these 
was £79 and I've got to be honest I would never spend £80 on gloves um, but £45 for these I thought was a really good price so I'm really happy I picked these up. There are a few different colours, there was also a burgundy but these were the only grey pair so I snatched up those as soon as I saw them. These on the other hand there were absolutely loads of, I thought this was just such an adorable little box. It says 45 on here but I don't think I paid £45 for it, I know that's a euro sign. But I thought this would be really handy just for putting my jewellery in, um, maybe jewellery when I'm travelling. And it's kind of like a beige colour with again rose gold zip and a little bow on the top so I thought that was really really beautiful. And then these are the pieces that we got for Charlie from Ted Baker. This blazer is really lovely, he wears this for kind of like work meetings. It's got a lovely pattern um, on the hem there and then really cool bright lining as all Ted Baker things do. It's got this little pocket square and what was this? So 169 down from 259 which is absolutely amazing and as it's Ted Baker quality is really really lovely. And then he also got this coat, and as we said earlier, this is a coat that he did actually have a couple of years ago, but then he lost it. And this, I believe, let's have a look how much this one was. Again, 279 down to 179 So, I mean, we were planning on buying it with my student discount in the shops, which is 20% off, but the fact that we've got £100 off, absolutely crazy. I think this Ted Baker in the Freeport just had so many more decent styles um, and better sizes. Like, Charlie is a very average size so many guys <laughs> are the same size as him so it's really rare that he finds things in outlet stores so yeah really really pleased with those and so that's it, that's all the bits that we picked up from our little trip to Freeport Braintree. As you can see my room is a bit bombsite now so I probably need to um, give that a bit of a tidy. And as it's Saturday the 31st today, Charlie and I are now heading out to a Halloween party when the rugby's over. So I'm going to go and paint my face, I don't know um, of what yet but that's next on the agenda. But yeah it's been a really really fun day and I'm definitely going to be heading back to Freeport when I want to do my Christmas shopping. I tend to leave it quite last minute but um, yeah I might try and do it a little bit earlier this year. But I just couldn't believe how close it was to London and we just had a really fun day, picked up so many bargains. Um, and yeah, I definitely recommend you guys go and check it out if you live nearby because it was just a really lovely, lovely day out. So this marks the end of Vlogtober, which is um, quite sad. It's been my first ever Vlogtober, so I hope you guys have enjoyed my nearly everyday vlogs. And if you'd like me to do Vlogmas, then do let me know because it's definitely something I'm thinking about doing. So I hope you've enjoyed this video, hope you have enjoyed Vlogmas. Give it a thumbs up if you did and there will be new videos every Wednesday, maybe Fridays and Sundays. So subscribe if you're new and I'll see you in my next videos. Bye bye!